Hello, and welcome to another edition of Orthopedic Sports Medicine Patient Educational Series with Dr. Adam Jarecki. In this video, we're going to go over the specifics of the surgical procedure to perform an ACL reconstruction. In this model, we're going to pay particular attention now to the left knee. There are a number of main components to the knee, including the femur, which is the thigh bone, the tibia, which is the shin bone, as well as your patella, or your kneecap. So we're going to look specifically today at the anterior cruciate ligament. This is the ligament in the center of the knee that helps to stabilize the knee both from front to back as well as with rotational stability. When patients, when patients suffer an anterior cruciate ligament tear, they lose the function of that ligament, which requires us to go in and reconstruct the ACL. In this particular surgical animation, we are going to use a hamstring tendon autograph to reconstruct the ACL. So here is the left knee after the previous ACL tissue has been removed. The ACL would normally course from the inside part of the notch on the lateral or outside part of the knee, extending down to the floor or the tibia on the medial or inside part of the knee, crisscrossing from one side to the other, which is why we call it a cruciate ligament. We are now going to begin drilling the sockets in order to place the ACL into place. As we discussed in the office, I perform an all inside ACL reconstruction. This means that we do not drill a tunnel all the way from the outside of the bone to the inside of the bone. We simply drill a blind ended socket which starts on the inside part of the bone and extends up into the interior of the bone using a pin. So we initially insert our drill guide. The drill guide is placed through a small poke hole incision in the skin. The pin is then drilled through the bone in order to come out at the precise location where we want the new ACL graft to attach. This pin is called a flip cutter. The guide of the pin is then malleted seven millimeters into the outside cortex of the bone. The pin diameter itself is only 3.5 millimeters. After harvesting and sizing your hamstring tendon, we know exactly how large we would like your new ACL socket on the femur to be. We can then set the flip cutter to the appropriate diameter of socket prior to drilling. The tip of the flip cutter is then flipped and the socket is then drilled in a retrograde fashion. We are shooting or aiming to have a depth of the socket of at least 25 millimeters to get adequate amount of tissue into the bone to heal to the bone. We then place a stitch through that socket retrieving it out the body through a portal. We then drill an identical socket on the tibial side to the appropriate diameter. We pass a second stitch through the tibial socket in order to advance the graft. We now have the hamstring tendon graft. We have pulled the leading femoral sutures in the femoral cortical button up through the 3.5 millimeter hole and the button flips and gets caught on the outside of the bone. We then tension the device from the outside which then decreases the length of this loop pulling the new ACL up into the femoral socket. This is very precise and allows us to get adequate depth of penetration of the graft into the bone. We then pass the tibial side of the graft down through the tibial socket and apply a second button. 
Once we have the button on the tibial side, we can then sequentially tighten both sides of the ACL graft until we are happy with the overall graft tension. With the all inside technique, I am able to fine tune the tension of this graft on both the tibia and the femoral sides. The excess suture is then removed and we can see the final ACL reconstruction. I would like to thank my friends at Arthrex for supplying me the implants necessary to perform state-of-the-art all-inside ACL reconstruction, as well as supplying the surgical animation used in this video today. I hope this video has helped you to understand the specifics of the surgical techniques required to perform an all-inside ACL reconstruction. Have a nice day.